What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Derailed Gaming. This is our first episode of the walkthrough of Miraculous Ladybug Rise of the Sphinx. A little bit of a different uh, style of game for this channel, but many of you know, as I've said before, that my daughter and I have, uh, she's grown up with this show, so it kind of holds a, a soft place in my heart, if you will. So uh, that's why we're going to play through it and take a look at this game. Um, thank you everyone for subscribing to the channel, clicking the bell when you do so, so you get the notifications, hitting the like button, commenting. In the daytime, let's get into it. I'm Marinette, just a normal girl with a normal life. But there's something about me that's only possible because of who Ladybug is to the people of Paris. A lot of people see her as a symbol of hope, as someone who would never give up. It may feel like a burden sometimes, but I guess it comes with the territory. We all need someone we can look up to. Someone who helps us get a grip on things, especially in hard times. Someone who reminds us that whenever we seem to lose hope, giving up is not the solution. Don't be bemused, it's just the news. Today, <laughs> Mayor Bourgeois launches his new Paris cleaning strategy, supported by a squad of new and expensive innovative cleaning robots. Right. Mayor Bourgeois seems to be intent oh. on putting an end to, and I quote, an unsightly and stinky flying rodent problem. Mr. Pigeon 68, I may have given you your power so you could take your revenge on Mayor Bourgeois and his shameful robots, but in return... I'll bring you Ladybug and Cat Noir's miraculous... No, you won't. <laughs> Not if I have anything to say Breaking about news. it. Mayor Bourgeois' Operation Clean Paris has just been sabotaged by none other than the infamous villain, Mr. Pigeon. He just deployed an army of ominous pigeon bots that are causing havoc in the city. Once again, Paris is relying on our beloved superheroes, Ladybug and Cat Noir. Mr. Pigeon? Again? Well, it seems like we're just jumping right into it. He's already akumatized, and we did get a little bit of the backstory that these cleaning bots were turned into pigeons, but, um, yeah, really interesting-looking pigeons. Uh, but, okay. So, uh... As I was saying, uh, thank you uh, for liking and commenting and subscribing and everything. Make sure you share this around to your friends, family, and even your enemies. That way, everyone knows where to find Derailed Gaming. Uh, so I guess we're going to see where things go from here. Maybe Level 1's more of a tutorial of sorts. We'll see. And it uh, looks like we're ready to jump into it. Left stick. Okay, ZR switch hero. All right. So I can become Cat Noir. I can go back to Ladybug. That moves around. Is it? Oh, the right stick, it does like a zoom thing. It doesn't actually turn you around. Shoot! Out of my way. Oh. Uh, turn. Okay. So we'll hit those. That's All simple right. enough. Jump by pressing B. Press it again to double jump. Okay. There we go. I wonder what these blue things are. Probably should grab those. Hmm. Let's look around just a little bit. Doesn't seem too open world, but... Can I jump off of this? No, it stops me. Okay. Let's follow the arrow there and see where it gets us. Double jumps. Give me a little higher of a jump. Must be in his bird call. So that's a single jump. That's double jump. So we're following his bird call, grabbing these blue orbs as we go. I'm not gonna let you turn Paris into a pigeonocracy. Oh jeez. Ah. Uh, she said something about the shiny to collect these the orbs shiny. Are orbs are everywhere. I wish the uh, get rid of the message button wasn't the same as the jump button because obviously I'm going to. Oh, Tiki is very partial. Uh, macar oh, these are macaroons. Okay, pick them all up. Awesome. We can get to so, him. Let's do I, go. Do I get Camembert for uh, for Cat Noir? I guess oh. there's no reason to pull our punches anymore. All right, so B is now dodge. I can't jump. I can dodge. So this must be. I don't know, I guess in a fight scene you can't jump and you can dodge. That's kind of weird. But, okay, it looks like it's giving me credit for these dodges. Yeah, like I said, it's probably going to be more of a tutorial level, and that's exactly what it's handing out to me. One for 
bug. Let's jump over there without doing that. <laughs> okay. I don't know if that takes health away. The, the health bar is only there during a fight, it seems. Ooh. Get a good running jump. Oh, there's another... More to the roof than that. Okay. If you're lost, follow the yellow mark. Okay, yep, that's what we've been doing, so that, that works out. Those macaroons there, get the blue dots. Blue dots aren't even really a part of the show. So I guess that's Sorry just Sorry for disturbing you, little birdies. Ugh. Yeah, see, it doesn't seem to take any life or anything if you fall off the edge. Nothing I can't handle. Oh, well, I want the macaroon. Give me yeah, thank you. <laughs> oh, there's more blue ones over here. So I guess the uh, the blue one that looks... So I got five on that one. I got one on that one. So different ones have different values. Okay. Can I get up there? Now I gotta get on this and then double jump. That was weird. Okay. Keep running along here. Any more back here or anything? No. Oh, yeah, there is one up here. How do I get that? Oh, I guess like that. Give me that macaroon. Oh, back to it. Perry is X. Okay. Yeah. Don't mess with me. Oh, I didn't get him that time. Right. Marinette du Penche. Gosh, I keep mistiming. Okay, there we go. Now let me hit you. About wraps it up. Okay. And we will keep going. Looks like we're down to the ground now. I'm gonna go opposite of the arrow and see what else I can find. Yep, see some more blue orbs. Worth grabbing them. Boom. I'm not missing any over here, am I? No. I haven't even been cat in a war yet, really. How to check him out? Losing track of him. Let's go. Oh, hey, I'm losing track of these blue orbs, ladybug. Ah. Oh. It said something about a super jump. Oh, I guess that's what this is. Okay, let's make sure we get these orbs first. Can I go up this? I can't. Ah, oh, there's one up there. I had a feeling. All right. Let me back in. How do I... Um... Oh! Do like a Looney Tunes jump kind of there. <laughs> well, let's try that again. There we go. Got it. Nice. All right, let's do this super jump thing. No rest for the weary. Get the macaroon. Is there anything over here? Oh, wow. I can go quite a ways over here. All right. <clears throat> Just checking everything, trying to get all these blue orbs. I don't know what they're going to do for us, but might as well grab what we can. Maybe they'll be money of some sort to us at some point. Like we can uh, turn them in for better powers. <laughs> Today is the day the pigeons take a stand mm. against those heartless Parisians who ignored them for too long. Now, give me your miraculous ladybug and cat noir. Yeah, that's not good. Or else. Oh. Okay. You won't get me this time. Why is my... Pigeons will reign supreme! How do I You this won't thing? get me this time. Oh, there we go. Uh, so what do I do to uh, Maybe I parry him. I want them! And I want them now! Oh, I bet you do. What the heck? You won't get me this time. Um, all right, I'm going to switch to Cat Noir. Maybe he can... Reign supreme. What is going on here? 
You won't get me this time. Oh, there we go. I guess I just had a time around. There we go. There you go. Way to go, Cat Noir. Cataclysm! Cataclysm! <laughs> Beep, 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 beep. Why? Looks like your reserve army has just fled the battle zone, Mr. Oh. Pigeon. All right. <laughs> now, what do we do? Charge, pigeon bots! All right, well, let's. Yeah! He's taking him so out good. quick. Okay. Well, should I switch off of him? Okay, we're gonna keep dodging. Pigeons will reign supreme! Alright, we did it again. And we beat him down again, so now what? Alright. Lucky charm, what is it? Huh? What am I supposed to do with this? As always. Okay. No, 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 wrong button. There we go. She had to eat that. And then we chop these. Caught it. And... Oh, she's not eating it. She... Oh, okay. Bubble gum. <laughs> Break it. Bye-bye, little Akuma. No more evil doing for you, little Akuma. Time to de-evilize. Time to de-evilize. Gotcha. Bye-bye, little butterfly. Miraculous ladybug. What happened? Where am I? I got one star for that. Probably because I took damage. Oh, I didn't get all the macaroons. Where were they? I thought I went everywhere. Okay. Well, I don't know if that's it, but um, we'll see. I, I mean, I, I was going to cut these into episodes. I'm just not sure where, where the break is. Does that mean we move on to another level here? But... We'll see as soon as the loading process is done, and um, we'll go from there. But it seems like, yeah, it just seems like we were watching another episode. We were just performing the moves that uh, took down, in this case, uh, Mr. Pigeon. And here we go. The load screen is finished, and we'll see what uh, what's next for us. I wonder what these orbs are. Any ideas, Cat Noir? Not a clue. Do you think they have anything to do with the miraculous? Could be. I'll go check on Master Fu. I'm pretty sure he'll have a wise crack answer as to what it is. All right, well, let's check this out. Do you have any idea of what this orb could be, Tiki? Or what that orb could be, Tiki? Tiki says, I don't. It's the first time I see one in my entire life. Okay, I'd better go check in on Master Fu then. Hopefully, he'll have a straight answer as to what it is. Okay, well, let's... Uh, saved into your scrapbook, you can find... Okay, check in on Master Fu. So, what does L do? All right, health points, energy. Okay. There's what Master Fu. What a lovely Fu. day. And how do I talk? Interact. There we go. Marinette, I saw you and Cat Noir fighting against Mr. Pigeon on TV. Are you all right? Hmm. He's back to feeding his pigeon. I can't do her voice. No worries. As for me, I'm concerned about a strange object I found on the way. Where did you find that orb, Marinette? Was Mr. Pigeon after it? Not that I know of. He was more interested in taking our Miraculous, as usual. Have you ever seen the orb before, this orb before, Master? 
I haven't. But I know exactly what this is. These orbs are linked with an arcane, miraculous discipline, actually. The aim of this discipline is to grant the worthy holder of the miraculous a fantastic power when a great threat is coming close. A great threat? What do you mean by that? The presence of these orbs doesn't bode well. It means that evil is lurking. Something is coming. You must stay alert, Marinette. And above all, you should go and retrieve all the orbs while there's still time. When you have gathered enough, come see me again. I will use the orbs to power up your skills. That way, Ladybug and Cat Noir may have a chance to keep Paris safe once again. So they are there. We get to turn them in for um, almost like money in a way. Okay. Pick whatever you need. You can upgrade your powers for orbs. Okay. I don't even know... Okay, so we can up her health points, or we can switch Cat Noir and do the same thing. He has less health. His energy... Am I not hitting the right button? I'm hitting Y. Why is it not... Okay. I guess it's... Okay, it's making me do it, I guess. There we go. Cat Noir is now more resistant. Come back to see me regularly if you want to become more powerful. Okay. So now I can go back and forth, because I was wanting to see the difference in these. Okay, I guess they're the same now, other than Cat Noir has one less health point. We can go over here to Defense, Ricochet, Spinner, Protection, okay. Um, let's uh, give Cat Noir another one of those, I guess, and we'll call that good. Pick whatever you need. Kawami shop? Ooh. Okay, so that buys different things. All right. Well, that'll give us some things to play with, I guess. We just don't have enough on that one. Um, back. Okay. Let's see what's next for us. So, I, I don't... But that's pretty cool that we... At least those orbs we know, were, we were able to confirm that they are exactly what they were. They act as money in a way to power ourselves up and make ourselves stronger. Um, be nice to get more macaroons so we can see what the Kiwami shop is, but we may have to wait for next time on that one. But, nevertheless, uh, that's what we'll do. Looks like the load screen's almost done here. I would imagine this probably takes us to the next part here. Oh, head to school. Hey, Marinette, what's up? There's Adrian. That's Cat Noir, if you guys couldn't tell. Adrian, you turtled me. I mean, stutter, stammer, startled, startled me. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Actually, there's something I wanted to talk to you about. Oh, me? I know it sounds crazy, my, but my father has decided to throw a party at my place for my birthday, and of course, you're invited. Invited? Me? Me as in Marinette me? She's so awkward around him. Of course. I want all my friends to be there. I already told Nino, who told Alia. It's going to be awesome. So, Marinette obviously has a crush on Adrian. When they're Ladybug and Cat Noir, Cat Noir has the crush on Ladybug. <laughs> So it, it's kind of funny that they don't realize it because they don't know each other's identities. All you knows? Anyway, your father is such a class act. You must be so happy, even though his father is Hawk Moth. Actually, it was Natalie's idea. You know, my father's assistant. I kind of overheard her telling my father he needed to nurture his parent-child bond. Haha, <laughs> that's a mouthful, but I can't imagine how cool a birthday party at the Agrest Mansion can be. Well, it wouldn't be the first time we'll have a birthday party there. Actually, let's just hope no one gets akumatized this time. It's a reference, I believe, to season one, where I think it was Nino got turned into like some evil DJ or something. 
There we are, Marinette's Neighborhood. You, welcome to Marinette's Neighborhood. You can explore its surroundings, discover its history, and other secrets. Okay. As Adrian talked to Chloe, has been saved to your scrapbook. Okay. So Chloe must be over there. She is. Don't forget, go see Master Food to increase your hero powers. Treasures from Kwamis. Okay. Let me walk around just a little bit before we go to Chloe. Just kind of see what else is going around. Maybe there's more of these orbs around here. Well, this is kind of an open world area, isn't it? Please say hello to Sap for me, Marinette. Okay. Wow. I love little markets. And Paris has got a ton of them. This is... Well, it's not super open world, I don't think, but... Can I talk to these people? I guess not. Can't go that way. Don't want to get hit by a car. Hit a car. Hit, get hit by a car. <laughs> so we'll go this way. Let's see if we can run past Chloe. The Morris columns in the neighborhood allow you to access the levels that you have already completed to replay them. Is this a Morris column? Move with the left stick. Okay. Yeah, I know that. Thank you. Um, I didn't mean to go that way. Oh, it just takes me to another area. Well, let's go back then. Let's go ahead and do what it's telling us right now. We'll talk to Chloe, who is right here. Good morning, Chloe. What's up? Wow. What was that? I often get photographed without any warning, but usually it's by my fans. So, uh, Adrian is a, a model, basically. His father... I'm trying to remember. His father owns some sort of, like, uh, modeling... I, I can't remember exactly what it is. I mean, it's, it's touched on throughout the series. But, his, but Adrian is a popular teenage model, basically. You don't get it, Adrikins. This is for my art project I need to deliver to Mr. Monlatang. I, I can't remember his name. Monlatang. Okay. The assignment was capture the moment. Utterly ridiculous, ridiculously vague. So this is why you walk around taking pictures of everyone? Yes. It's actually a lot of fun. <laughs> Well, it's a change from your usual selfies. Also, it's nice to see you opening up to people. It suits you well. You can access Marinette's room by talking to her father, Tom. Well, there's Nino. What up, bro? Let's talk. Hey, dude. I can't wait for your birthday party. It's going to be awesome. All right, thanks, Nino. All right, so yeah, this is Marinette's house. Marinette's room contains all treasures. You have. Can can we just go up there as Adrian and like expose her as Ladybug? <laughs> all right, crossing guard. He's got something to say. Sasha, please use crosswalk when crossing the street. Adrian. Yeah. Yes, sir. And not like I really can anywhere else. <laughs> Hello, Adrian. What a beautiful day. All right, let's be Marinette then. Do you say the same thing to Marinette? Okay. All right. Talking to her dad. Hey, dad. Marinette, is there anything I can do for you? I can see uh, nothing. Nothing. Just passing by. All right. Take care, Marinette. Uh, we probably should look at that scrapbook, actually. Let's see what it is, just for the sake of... Uh... Let's see here. Is there anything I can do? I'd like to see my scrapbook. I'm here to check my scrapbook. Oh, I'll give you some privacy then. Oh, okay. Uh, we don't have uh, anything other than that. <laughs> All right. Oh, that was Meredith's room, everybody. Thanks for uh, thanks for being a part of that. <laughs> bam, 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 na, na, na. I think we've spent more time checking the open world than we actually have playing and fighting and everything. 
the uh, I noticed that it was saying that I need to go to Alia to talk about the birthday party or something. Let's see what that says. Should still be up there. Find Alia and ask her about Adrian's birthday party. All right, so we got to go find Alia. And it's giving us a direction to go. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's a bakery. Oh, look at this. We got Luca. Always oh, nice to see you, Marinette. I think Alia was looking for you. Might as well talk to everybody, see what they say. Max, 12.2% chance we're going to have a test today. It should go pretty smoothly. Okay. Um. Oh. Adrian is throwing an amazing party for his birthday. I'm guessing you're not invited. Too bad. Actually, I am. Oh. He invited the whole class, I guess. That's so Adrian. Never letting anyone aside. Anyway. I have the perfect idea for a gift. I'll have it shipped from Italy, especially for him. I'm sure he's going to love it. Ugh, that little girl is getting on my nerve. Surely Adrian will love her special gift from Italy. And when he does accept it, he'll only look at her. And then they'll fly off to Italy together and they will settle there forever in everlasting pizza romance. Don't mind Lila, Marinette. Just focus on your gift for Adrian. You're right, but what am I going to get him? I can never beat the fancy things Lila can get from this glamorous world of hers. Adrian doesn't care about the fancy and expensive stuff, Marinette. He's already got it all. You're right, Tiki. If I want to get him the best birthday present possible, I must get him something that he holds dear. First order of business, find Alia. She's usually a good source of advice. So, you know, at this point, since we're moving on to the next story, there's Alia. Let's go ahead and stop this here, and that way episode two can be the preparation for the birthday party. I think that'll be a good place to stop this. And um, we'll see what the next part of this game has in store for us. So thank you, everyone, for tuning in to our very first episode of Miraculous Ladybug Rise of the Sphinx. Thank you for subscribing and clicking the bell so you know the next time I post a video on this um, and many other games. We do uh, live interactive gaming on Monday and Friday nights where you tell me what to do. Also, uh, thank you for hitting the like button, commenting, and sharing this around to your friends, family, and, of course, your enemies. That way, everyone knows where to find Derailed Gaming. With that said, we'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care and cheers.